I wanted to do a quick video of our new dump tank. Uh, this is the one that replaces the dump tank that was damaged on the hazmat incident. Uh, changing up our concept a little bit, we're going with a rectangular tank. Uh, so this is a 2,500 gallon dump tank. It's the same length as the other one, 14 feet. The thing is it's only 10 foot wide. That'll allow it to sit between the double yellow line and the shoulder of the road without hanging over. There are a couple features uh, just worthy of noting. It has the same type of drains. It has two of them, one here, one over there. They latch the same way or secure the same way as our last dump tank. When you set it up, then you're going to want to set it up in the lane of travel this way. So the long end of the rectangle will be in the lane of traffic. Don't put it across the traffic, run it with traffic. We'll have more training on this uh, in the near future because we're getting a second one. And the second one will live on the other side of tanker 14. But for right now, we're running this 2500 on the right side uh, till we can get the bracket built. So that'll be occurring. The last thing is that this has a through the wall connection for drafting. And let me hop down off this ladder. And here's the through the wall. We'll uh, show some videos of that later, not right away. We're gonna wait to the second tank and then show how that works. The bottom line is you're going to come, one of the choices of drafting is to hook up right to uh, the through the wall connection, put your strainer on the inside, right in here, and then draft. And the advantage of that is that the hose then, the suction hose is not up over top of the side of the tank. Uh, there'll be some options for that and we'll show you how you do that. For right now, this tank is on the tanker 14 ready for operation. It's a 2,500 gallon, uh, which will allow you to dump most of the capacity of your tanker. The thing to keep in mind, of course, is that if we really are dumping water in a dump tank, then people are drafting and using it. So our 3,500 or 3,000 that we drop will easily fill this tank and we'll be able to move along. Any questions, uh, you can contact uh, Lieutenant Ligor or Chief Davis and I'll uh, be able to provide more info. When we get the second tank on, then we'll go through uh, more intricate operations of uh, what they call these single lane tanks. So hopefully this makes life a little bit easier on our wider, or excuse me, our more narrow roads. The intent is to open up lanes of traffic so we don't block up uh, additional apparatus that's coming into the sea.